Uh, welcome back to the mystical journey, my dear travelers, as we dive into the ethereal realms of the soul and the ever-present forces of fear and love. Now imagine your soul as a unique spark of light interconnected in a vast network above each with its own celestial origin. That's your soul's root, my friends. Now, let's talk about the cosmic dance of fear and love, shall we? Picture the stock market, a tumultuous sea of emotion. It's driven by greed, which, in essence, is a form of love, a love for material gain. But oh, the fear, it's there too, lurking in the dips and dives of the market. But here's where it gets interesting. Through the garments of the godly soul, thought, speech, and action, we can transcend, my fellow travelers, we can use these divine tools to peel away the layers of earthly fears and come to embrace the only fear that truly liberates the awe of the infinite. Now let's shift gears and talk, Matza. Oh, that humble bread of affliction. On Pesach, we abandon Chomets, that puffed-up symbol of ego and pride. Why, you ask, out of awe for the Almighty, for Hashem? This awe, my friends, is the source of the 613 commandments with 365 negative ones corresponding to the days of the year, each one a beacon that guides us away from the negative energy we might otherwise champ. By steering clear of the chomets, by engaging in this act of divine respect, we align with our higher calling. We don't just avoid leavened bread. We're taking a stand against the spiritual leavening within our hearts. It's a journey from the narrow straits of constriction to the expansive freedom of our spiritual liberation. So. This pisak as we crunch on our matzah, let's remember the awe that binds us to the heavens and the love that propels us to greatness. Until next time, seekers of light keep threading the path of balance between fear and love and watch as your soul soars ever higher. Shalom.